Alright guys, what's going on? This is the new Iris Manager version 2.65 by Alexander. This is an official release, finally. Uh, but this is just a simple little update with some bug fixes for you. And uh, this simply just allows you to manage your game backups easier on a, a 4.46 uh, custom firmwares. So, that said, bring up your USB device that you're going to be using for this. You will need a USB about a gigabyte. After you do that, create a folder on it called, uh, on, the, on the root of the USB called packages, P-A-C-K-A-G-E-E-S, all in lowercase letters, and double click on that and open it up. All right, and get rid of this old Iris Manager here, and uh, just simply drag and drop the Iris Manager PKG that you have downloaded, the 265, the link will be below, and just copy that to the uh, USB device in the packages folder. Now you can put it on the root of the memory stick and then just go to install package files and uh, on your PS3 and it'll work, but I'm going to go and do it through Multiman just in case there's some bugs with those. Uh, installations so it won't pick them up uh, so this is I'm gonna do the way that is the guaranteed working way so other than that uh, take your USB plug it into your PS3 and I will meet you there and we will install this uh, iris manager and uh, update our stuff alright guys so here we are back at the PS3 and uh, simply all you're gonna do is plug in your USB if you put the package files on the root of the USB you can just go to install package files here if you're running the uh, new Rogueros or the uh, uh, Habib custom firmwares you will see it right there if you have it in the root of the drive if not you're gonna need to go in your multi-man uh, if you have some kind of bug where you can't see your package files this is the guarantee way for it to work so uh, just boot up your multi-man. I'm running the uh, CEX base custom firmware, so I have a CEX base multi-man um, with the Stealth Man packs installed. If you want to see how to get Stealth Man on your 4.46 custom firmwares, go on my channel and search for Stealth Man install. Uh, so that's about that. So when you get into your multi-man or Stealth Man base multi-man, go to install package files like I just showed and scroll down to you see the iris manager 265 by alexander hit execute it and allow it to copy and hit triangle to install the queue when you hit triangle it will automatically exit to the xmb now depending on what firmware you're on there may be a bubble uh... on your game section like a psn install there may not be so uh... and this is where it would be like right underneath this install package files you see a bubble right there uh... but if you don't see that just click this and it should be right there. Press X to install it. Now, if you have an Iris Manager on here already, it'll automatically update it. If you do not, it'll install a fresh copy of Iris Manager. And so if I go down to my tools here and I scroll down to my Iris Manager, I should be 265. So go ahead, start that up, test it out. Basically, what this is is just a few little bug fixes for the 4.46 custom firmwares. Um, and uh, more uh, compatibility for game backups and things like that and uh, now you can manage your game backups here like so I don't like this version it's all big and nasty I like the other one with more spaces oh well but yeah so that's your iris manager so rate comment and subscribe to my channel uh, enjoy your iris manager 265 update for 4.46 custom firmwares um, check out my website software-reborn.com where there's a lot more things to download for your PS3 if you go to the Sony tab and click on PS3 and you'll see all that fun jazz uh, but yeah uh, follow me on Twitter at death 33 everything that I post on my website my blog my YouTube it's all forwarded to my Twitter so stay up to date with that my uh, blog form electronics and software all the links are on my channel and feel free to leave comments and uh, any questions I will answer so take it easy guys enjoy and I will have more homebrew mods and hacks for you ASAP